Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of January 13th through the 19th. And for this week I have this kit from Nicole Alexia Designs that I'm going to be using. It's called Moon and as you can see it has a moon slash like lunar phase kind of design. Um, and I chose this kit specifically because this week was my boyfriend's birthday week and every year for his birthday I try to choose a kit that reminds me of him and he really likes space like that's one of the things that he's interested in. So this particular kit definitely made me think of him. Um, so anyways, the kit, as you can tell, is in a really pretty light gold foil. Um, here we have the nine full boxes that are included. This next page here has some date dots. We've got some text stickers and some functional icons. Down here we have all the different types of checklists and then we have um, a couple flags and a movie marquee at the top. On this page, we have a bunch of different boxes. So we've got some flags, some appointment labels, quarter boxes, half boxes, and here we have the little things and some washi strips, as well as these scallop bow headers. I think they're really cute. And the last page here is also foiled, so I think it comes with two foiled sheets and then three non-foiled sheets. Um, so on this one, we have the bottom washi, and I'm just like obsessed with this strip right here with these little dangling bows. I think they're so cute. We have some sidebar stuff, an extra quarter box and these gold foil date covers at the bottom. Um, so yeah, that's everything included in the kit. I also really like how the kit has some darker navy blue colors because I feel like that also like reminds me more of my boyfriend. So without further ado, I wanna go ahead and place down the bottom washi and I think I wanna use both of these strips for this week because I just really like them both. Um, so I'll go ahead and place those down and then continue building my spread from there. I go ahead and place down both strips of the bottom washi, like I said in my intro, and um, once I upload the spread, I realize that I'm pretty much all caught up. I will have some extra time to film some additional videos that are not just regular plan with me's, so if you guys have any ideas of videos that you would like to see me make, um, I'm more than happy to take those suggestions and would definitely highly appreciate that. Um, so yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any ideas. Once I placed down the bottom washi, I moved to my sidebar. So for this week, the kit did not come with a quote box, so I decided to write one in myself. And I chose the quote, I love you to the moon and back, which I thought was so perfect, both because this was my boyfriend's birthday week and obviously because this kit is moon themed. Um, the brush lettering pen I used this week is from Pilot. I'm also using my Paper Mate Enjoy gel pen in 0.7. This is actually a new one, so I just opened it up, and I think that's why it looks a lot thicker than it normally is. It's either that or because this kit is printed on a glossy paper, um, so that might also affect the ink flow. But anyways, for my sidebar, I put down the This Week header that came with the kit, and then I used a habit tracker to track my working out. I placed down a quarter box with this bow checklist to mark my happy moments, and then I used a second quarter box with the Monday through Sunday box from the kit to mark my dinners. The kit came with nine full boxes and I only need eight, so I chose one that I wasn't going to be using for this week and I decided to cut it up and create a small strip of washi at the very bottom of the sidebar. I then go ahead and place down all my date covers. And for this week, for my date dots, I pulled in these gold foiled ones. I think these are from Paper Rose Planning. I got them as part of a little sampler when I ordered from her over Black Friday. Once I get them all down, I go ahead and move to Monday. I first placed down a washi strip from the kit, and then I pulled in this gold foiled overlay from Tagami Fox to add some foiling to the header. I pulled in a third box from the kit and also used this gold foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my coffee that I got on Monday morning. And then I was looking over what I did on Monday and I didn't do a whole lot, so I decided to mark my lunch, which I did using a little things that came with the kit. I then used a gold foiled pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks to mark that I did a lot of report writing that afternoon, and then I used a full box underneath that. To mark my workout that evening, I put down a half box, and this adorable workout girl sticker is from Whimsical Cat Studio. Um, I decided to pull that in because I don't get to use her very often, and I felt like she matched the colors of the kit pretty well. At the end of the night, we watched the show Cheer, which we have been absolutely loving. I actually cheered in high school, so it's just been bringing back a lot of really sweet memories, and to mark that, I used a quarter box with a TV sticker that came with the kit. On Tuesday, I first started by placing down a full box at the top, then I used another strip of washi from the kit with a gold foiled overlay from Tagami Fox. 
I then placed down this flag sticker, which I realized was a little bit shorter than the width of the box. So I also pulled in this gold foiled notebook sticker from Hazel Sticker to cover up that remaining space. And I used that to mark that I uploaded a plan with me that morning. And then I had a meeting that afternoon. So I used this laptop sticker from the kit. To mark my next meeting, I pulled in this quarter box and the gold foiled meeting script sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I also used this bow sticker from Fox and Pip. It's really lightly foiled, so it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's really dainty and pretty. I cut up another strip of that extra full box I wasn't going to be using to mark my workout. And the strength training sticker is from Love Shira, who unfortunately is no longer open. At the very bottom, I put down a strip of washi and I wrote today on it to create my own little header. And then I cut up a bow checklist into two bows to mark that I watch Gilmore Girls. And then I tried to do a voiceover, but it was a total failure. I think I was just super tired, so I like couldn't talk that night. But anyways, to mark watching TV, I used this gold foiled sticker from Magic Prince Co. On Wednesday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom. And then above that, I pulled in a washi strip with another foiled overlay from Tagami Fox. I decided to use a washi strip with those overlay um, every day for this week, so you will see them coming up quite a bit. Then moving to the top of Wednesday, I first placed down a scallop header, and then I put down a quarter box with this pencil sticker from my spoiled planner to mark a morning meeting that I had. I used this gold foiled laptop from Magic Prince Co. to mark the next meeting I had. Um, I had like quite a few meetings on this day, so it was quite busy at work, but I decided to start from the bottom so I knew how much space I had to mark my last meeting. I put down a couple boxes and then for my last meeting, it was an IEP. So I pulled in this flag that came in the kit and I just wrote IEP on top of it. To mark my workout that day, I pulled in these little dumbbell stickers from, I think it's from Sunset Sticker Co, but I haven't seen her shop open in a while. So I'm pretty sure she is closed at the moment. And then um, I scooted everything up a little bit because I wanted to place down this gold foil date night sticker from Artbox Stickers, but I also wanted to write the name of the restaurant that we went to. And so I had to place that sticker kind of like halfway off the box and I go ahead and move on to Thursday. On Thursday, I first placed down a washi strip at the top and then I moved back to Wednesday because I felt like there was too much white space in that section at the top. So I cut up another strip from the um, full box that I didn't use and I layered that underneath the laptop sticker. Moving back to Thursday, I first placed down this third box and the bow paper clip sticker I put down is from Sticky Fingers Co. I use that to mark an observation that I had to do off campus that day. And on the way back to school, I decided to grab some lunch. So I grabbed Del Taco and then um, there was a Starbucks nearby. So I also ended up grabbing a drink as well. That coffee sticker is from Mandy Dreams. I then put down a full box and then below that I used a half box with this IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark an IEP that I had that afternoon. I didn't do very much that night when I got home. I think it was just a super lazy night. So I pulled in this girl on her laptop sticker from Paper Bear Co and just wrote in lazy night. For Friday, I first started by placing down a full box at the very top and then I placed down a strip of washi with the foiled overlay from Tagami Fox again. I had to pay the gardeners that morning, so I used this little things to mark that. And then I decided to switch up the coffee cup on Thursday because I wanted more gold foil in that section. So I pulled in this foiled coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker, and then I used the Mandy Dreams coffee on Friday instead. Moving back to Friday, I got my usual Friday morning coffee, and then we had a staff meeting that morning. So to mark that, I used a flag, and initially I used a foiled paperclip sticker from Planning Like a Pro, but I decided it was a little bit too small. I wanted something that took up more space, so I ended up using this foiled pencil sticker from Hazel Sticker. I then placed down a three bow checklist at the very bottom to mark some things I did that night, and then I also pulled in this third box in the remaining space to mark our dinner that night. My boyfriend and I went and grabbed some Japanese barbecue at this place called Yukaku, and so I used this barbecue sticker from Plans with Vanessa to mark that. And then once I filled out my checklist, I did watch some TV that night, so I used this gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. On Saturday, I first placed down a full box at the bottom and used a washi strip with an overlay on top of that. Then I placed down a half box on top. I think I was just trying to space things out as I usually like to do. So moving to the top of the weekend, I did place down a couple washi strips there at the top and then I pulled in this gold foiled weekend banner from Paper Rose Planning. I used a three bow checklist underneath that to mark things I did on Saturday morning. And then I did do a YouTube binge. So I cut up the text from a Love Shira sticker and paired it with this laptop emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. 
I then placed down a third box with this planner sticker from Hazel Sticker um, because I did some journaling that day. So that's what I wanted to use that box to mark. And I go ahead and write in everything in my checklist. I did do a workout, so I pulled in this shoe sticker, which I found in my leftovers book. So I'm not quite sure which shop that's from. I continued to fill out the boxes in the day and then on the half box I used this beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that we went to a brewery that night because we were celebrating my boyfriend's birthday a little early with some friends and yeah it was really fun we got to enjoy some good beers and hang out with them for a while then when I was looking over my day I felt like there was just a lot of really intense writing so I decided to lift up the YouTube binge sticker I had placed down and just write that in myself and I also decided to replace the emoji with a laptop sticker from from paper and milk. On Sunday, I first placed down a washi strip with the foiled overlay. Again, that's from Tagami Fox. Then I placed down a quarter box with a gold foiled heart from Hazel Sticker, and I was planning to use that to mark my boyfriend's birthday. I then cut up a checklist into three bows, and um, underneath that, I then put down a half box, or I'm sorry, a full box and a half box underneath. On the bow checklist, I marked some of the things that we did that day, and one of them was grabbing boba, so I used this really cute boba sticker from Happy Daya Stickers. On the half box, I wanted to mark where we grabbed dinner. Um, I decided to treat my boyfriend to this really good hot pot place that we had been eyeing for a while, so that hot pot sticker I used is from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, we watched some TV, and because I already pulled in a few TV icons for this week, I decided to use this gold foiled bow from White Deer Stationery instead. That pretty much concludes my week, so I go ahead and move back to the sidebar to fill everything out. I realized that I forgot to create my headers for my happy moments and my dinners, so I pulled in a couple icon stickers from the kit and then continued to fill everything out. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys these stickers that I have left in the kit, which will be included in my next leftovers giveaway. And now I'm just doing a vid wiggle to show you guys all the foiling that I pulled into the spread. Now I'm just showing you a close up of these spreads so you can see the foiling and the details a little bit better. And yeah, that is it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I love this color scheme with the dark blues and the light pinks. I think it just goes so beautifully together. And um, like I said earlier, please let me know if you have any video ideas of things that you would like me to do. I have a couple ideas myself, but I would always love more feedback if you guys have any. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for joining me this week and for bearing with me as I caught up with all of my spreads. As always, I appreciate your support to no end, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!